Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a lace closure glueless wig install. Now this one does come courtesy of Amanda Hair and they sent this beauty over in this cute little dust bag. I love the, like it's like a blue, it's like a grayish blue with a little baby pink soft, very, very like nice and feminine detail. And this one again is a beautiful wavy texture. It's nice and long and you're gonna see the entire process straight out of the packaging, what it looks like, the inside construction of the cap. And then you're gonna see how we're going to um, style her up and make the baby hair and just make everything look so flawless. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Be sure to check out the description box before you go and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, ladies, today we are going 26 inch. Look how beautiful that texture is. That's with the net on. And this is with the net off. You can see how beautiful and bouncy the wig pattern is. It has a nice, healthy sheen to it. And of course, it's nice and long, so we are going to have a good time. The icing on the cake is that this one here is a pre-cut lace closure wig so you guys already know I love a good closure wig because um, it's just easy to keep on with me doing Pilates and trying to get back into boxing and working out I can just throw this on and um, don't have to bond it down and it still looks decent and then the lace is pre-cut for you it does have like a scalloped cut let me see if I can put something behind it so you can see the cut has like a curve to it you see how it has that like scallop cut detail absolutely beautiful and this is a melt belt from um the company this company is amanda hair i believe i've worked with amanda hair a few times but um it's definitely been a minute also i do like this cap super comfortable cap um, but you will notice in the back it does not have those adjustable straps so let's just see i've seen a lot of companies lately do this where it's a lot more more of a comfortable fit all the way around but the most important thing is that how it actually fits on so let's just put it on and see you can also buff a little bit of foundation here um, i'm not going to do that because again you guys already know i still will go in and tint the lace with the same powder as the last step so off the bat, I can already tell it fits super snug. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it definitely hugs, hugs, hugs the hairline really, really good. Also, the knots are super tiny on this one, so they're going to be super easy to go in and bleach if you choose. This is going to be a straight out of the box beginner friendly install, so we're not going to be bleaching knots. I'm going to show you how I cover them up, but you guys can see it's pre-plugged to perfection. So this one is a minimal work needed situation. So here's somewhat of a texture shot and you can see how beautiful it sits. And then here is a little clip of the wig cap. You guys can see even though it doesn't have that um, adjustable band or the wig strap back there it still hugs the nape very well okay you guys can see like just the wig just has been put on no prep no work has been done and it looks like the wig is already installed this is absolutely gorgeous you really don't have to do much at all but this one is 26 inches in length the texture is a loose wave texture the cap style or the name of it is a dome cap and then this one has i believe six by let me double check the dimensions. It is a six by four lace closure wig. So let's go ahead and see what it will look like as a center part. Okay, so this is like a rough image or a rough draft of what it will look like as a center part. Or we can do like the side flip over no part. That's kind of the way I'm leaning. The only thing is that because this one is a closure and not a frontal, you have to do a little bit more finesse with the edges or the side if you do no part. So let's also see what it would be like as a curved part. And you guys know because this one is a closure and you do get six inches going this way and this way, it should be enough space to make it like a deep side part if you like. But also um, one of the luxuries or bonuses is that you can definitely like shift it to the side. Now I think I like, even though the hair is not done, how it looks as more of a side part. Like I kind of want it to go back, not forward. Because sometimes when you flip, you kind of want to pull it forward. But with this one, because the hairline is so gorgeous, I think we kind of want to show that off. 
but we also want to make sure that the sides are camouflaged so i'm just going to take a little bit of spritz and we're going to melt this down so that it looks really really seamless um and then from there we're going to go ahead and do some baby hair i know you guys don't want to hear me talk the entire way through so i'm going to speed through and this is not going to bond the hair down you guys can see how it's kind of making it disappear already if you pair this with like your melt belt it'll definitely do an amazing job at just making it look a lot more bonded down than it really is i haven't seen you in a long time almost been a year since you broke my heart and tore me apart oh yeah i've been working on myself trying to move on looking up with someone else trying to forget Okay, hairline is laid. I did not expect it to come out that good. We did something a little bit different this time around. You guys know I love to do the Dynamic Duo, which is my wax stick paired with the Electric Hot Comb. Both are my brand. I'll have them in the description box. But today I decided to just go back to something that I've done many a times, but I just haven't done in a while, which is using a hairspray. And this is just one I had on hand. Um, sometimes I'll use this as an extra hold hairspray. And it is... Anyways, um, that does naturally bond the wig down. So technically, it's probably bonded down right now. I'm going to leave it as is, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to lift it and show you guys that you don't need it to be bonded down. This is a glueless wig, so the purpose was not to actually glue it down. But we are pretty much done with the install process. And I mean, it made it so that... Um, you really don't even need much lace tint because it like from here it looks so good of course it can be a little bit more um blended but it just that process right there really 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 melted the lace and i didn't even use a wig band so far so let's go ahead and add a little bit of powder to bring it home along the hairline and then we can just go ahead and do the ends and we can kind of let the hair set with the melt belt and I'm going to use this one again. I need to get another one of these. It's so old. It's not old, but it's so used that at this point, the powder just doesn't lift as much as it used to. So it's like you got to like scrub in there. So it's like stuck there. And I'm just going to be generous and make sure that you don't have to get it in every single spot on the wig. Because it does already look good. But you just want to make sure it blends as much, especially at that line of demarcation where the wig stops and your real hairline stops. And that looks beautiful. Now, you guys know me. I love a good natural texture. So for me, just to kind of like pull the hair out like so and just add a little bit of product to me is all we need. So let's go ahead and decide what products we want to use so i'm not going to put anything heavy but i do want to go ahead and activate the curls with a little bit of water and just see um what happens and i'm just going to use this blueberry bliss leave-in i believe this yeah the reparative leave-in conditioner just a little let's start off with about this amount on the smaller section Focusing it on the ends and working our way up. Okay, I did go a little bit generous with the product because it's a leave-in, not like a curl cream. Typically, a leave-in is a little bit more thin, but I love the way it looks. So let's go ahead and do the opposite side the exact same way, but probably more water and more product because it's a bigger half. Tell you why this trend is toxic. 
Boy, you had me from the start By the way you stared, the way you wrote upon me, yeah, yeah Man, I felt your energy Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah But something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're on completely different pages Let's go where we were, when no one gets So I am done with the look. I love the way it came out. Um, again, I did go a little bit more generous with the product on the side. You can kind of see. But I'm going to go ahead off camera and do my makeup. This one did come from Amanda Hair. And then this is the bag. The dust bag that the wig came in. And it did, I think I already showed you, but it did come with a melt belt. So I'm going to go ahead and probably just put this on really quickly so I can do my makeup. And then I will be back. Okay, babies, so we are done with the look. Let me guys, let me give you guys a quick close-up. Now, I have not touched up the hair um, at all because I wanted you to see actually what it looks like when you go out into the elements. Um, didn't, like, redo the ends or anything like that because this is exactly how I like my hair. I don't like it to be, like, too curly. Um, yes, like, defined, but I like a little frizz to it because, I don't know, I just give a little bit more of a natural vibe to me. And then this is what the hairline looks like. Now, this side obviously stayed, and it'll always stay because nothing is over here manipulating it. But this side, because this is here, it's always going to move and shift and all that. And that's okay. I'm still going to keep it because um, the hairline, um, you know, I got a big forehead. So when I do push it back, you want it to be even. The hair itself is beautiful beautiful absolutely absolutely beautiful so i wanted to make sure you guys can get a good look at it it's nice and full anyways i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i just wanted you guys to see the final results let me know what you guys think is this a hit or miss i think she's absolutely gorgeous and what sets her off is that this is a glueless wig and um it's a glueless closure wig and the hairline came so beautifully set already. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check this one out in the description box. You guys already know there's a direct link there. And you can find everything we use in this video down there as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!